Today we are talking about the GPD G1 and the Nvidia Pocket AI, which are both external portable GPUs that will release later this year. None of them is out yet, so what we will do today is to talk about the specs and what we know so far. I will tell you my opinion about both and why for me one makes much more sense than the other. Also, I have 3D printed two boxes at the size of the GPUs, so at the end of the video I will make a detailed size comparison between both of them. I will place those boxes next to my GPD WinMax 2, a Nintendo Switch and other well-known devices. Let's finally dive into the specs. The NVIDIA Pocket AI features an RTX A500 GPU, whereas the GPD G1 features an RX 7600M XT from AMD. If we compare both next to each other, we can see that the GPD G1 is much faster and has much higher specs than the NVIDIA Pocket AI. According to AMD, the GPD G1 is about as fast as an NVIDIA 3060 Ti. The NVIDIA Pocket AI on the other hand is about as fast as an NVIDIA 3050. Both cards target 1080p 60fps gaming. I have watched a few comparisons on YouTube between the 3050 and the 3060 and between the 3060 and the 3060 Ti and that is my conclusion. The NVIDIA Pocket AI is good enough. You can reach the target of 1080p 60fps for pretty much any modern game. For some however you need to tweak the settings to low or medium. The 3060 or even better the 3060 Ti can reach the target at high or very high settings. Even with the higher settings the 3060 Ti will have much more headroom and will reach higher FPS than the 3050. So if you're looking for performance the GPD G1 is the clear winner. Before we completely doom the NVIDIA Pocket AI, let's speak about its advantages. At first, let's talk about the obvious one, and that is the size. The Pocket AI is much smaller than the NVIDIA G1. The Pocket AI is truly pocketable and I can put it into the pocket of my trousers. If you compare both, the GPD G1 is almost three times as large as the NVIDIA Pocket AI. The second advantage of the NVIDIA Pocket AI is that it needs just 25 Watt and can be powered with a regular USB-C charger. The GPD G1 comes with a built-in 240 Watt GAN power supply and thus requires much more power at peak loads. The last point that speaks for the Pocket AI is that it is from NVIDIA and if you want some NVIDIA specific technology like CUDA or DLSS then you need the Pocket AI. In my opinion it does not make much sense to get the NVIDIA Pocket AI if there is the GPD G1, especially if you think ahead for about 2 or 3 years. When I look at the development of the last two years, I expect another major performance improvement of iGPUs when the next generation of AMD's RDNA graphics releases. That will probably be somewhere next year when the 8000 series of AMD's APUs releases. Currently, the Pocket AI is a significant improvement over the 800M iGPU which we use in current devices. However, by the end of next year I expect iGPUs to close a significant amount of that gap. The G1 on the other hand will be much faster than iGPUs even if you look 2 or 3 years into the future. So I personally consider the Pocket AI a short term investment 
and the G1 a midterm investment. The G1 comes with an Oculink port, so if you can use that connector, the performance gap between both gets even bigger. I don't need the small footprint of the Pocket AI as I plan to use my external GPU on my main desk pretty much all the time. It's not like the G1 is huge, it's still smaller than the GPD WinMix 2 which I carry around pretty much all the time. Another point that speaks for the G1 is that it's made by GPD, so hopefully I won't have any trouble connecting it to my GPD devices. The Pocket AI on the other hand is made by Nvidia, so you need at least the Nvidia driver to make it compatible with the AMD systems. And for me, the best driver is a driver I don't need to install on my system and I don't need to worry about. Talking about upscaling, even if you prefer Nvidia's DLSS over AMD's solution, for me that is no reason to get the Pocket AI. By the time the Pocket AI requires upscaling, the G1 will still be able to run the games at native resolution and doesn't require upscaling at all. Talking about the price, Nvidia claims that the Pocket AI will sell for about $400. There is no known price point for the G1, but I do not expect it to exceed $500 by much. If the price of the G1 will be above $600, I do not see much incentive why people should buy this over a used GPU and an eGPU enclosure. If we rate this at $400 and this one at let's say $550, then in my opinion the performance per dollar is much better on the G1 than on the Pocket AI. So for me, the only real reason to get the Pocket AI is its super low power consumption, as that is something I value a lot. However, all the advantages that the G1 has outweighs that by a lot and in my opinion the G1 is the much better choice. If this was helpful to you then please consider to like and subscribe so you won't miss my full review of the GPD G1 and other useful guides and reviews. Let's end the video with the size comparison. See you next time. Bye bye.